Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about the case 4 of partial fraction decomposition, repeating quadratic factors. I will again discuss some helpful tips on how to use Casio ClassWiz calculator, to help us solve for the partial fractions faster and easier. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials about partial fraction decomposition, and please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Now, let's find the partial fractions for the rational expression, the quantity 2x cubed, minus x squared, plus 7x, minus 8, over the quantity, x raised to 4, plus 6x squared, plus 9. Our first step is, to write the denominator in factored form, we can use the Casio ClassWiz calculator to help us find the factored form faster. But we have to put it in equation mode first. We can do this if we press the menu key, and look for equation mode by using the direction keys. Second, we will choose the option number 2, polynomial. Since our denominator is a polynomial in the fourth degree, we will select our desired degree, 4. We are now ready to input the coefficients and constant term of our denominator. We will follow the string of keys. After that, we will press the equals key to see our first value of x. x equals the square root of 3 times i. This gives us the first factor which is, x minus the square root of 3 times i. And, if we press the equals key again, we will see our second value of x. x equals negative square root of 3 times i. This also gives us the second factor which is, x plus the square root of 3 times i. And, if we press the equals key one more time, we will see that it has no more values of x for us. It only gave us two values of x. Notice that, we have imaginary numbers in the factors. So, we have to simplify this into a quadratic factor. By multiplying the factors with imaginary numbers, we will have x squared, plus 3. Since the degree of the denominator is 4, we can still square this quantity to get the same value as our denominator. We now have the rational expression with its denominator in factored form. Now that we have written our denominator in factored form, we can write a partial fraction for each factor. Also, since x squared plus 3 is a quadratic factor, we need to write its numerator as a first degree polynomial. This rule will always apply to quadratic factors in partial fraction decomposition. Aside from that, x squared plus 3 is a repeating quadratic factor, which means, we need to copy and write the exponent 2 for the second partial fraction. This rule will always apply to repeating quadratic factors in partial fraction decomposition. We will use the variables a, b, c and d, in the numerators, since we are still in the process of finding the partial fractions, and we don't know those values yet. After that, we will combine these partial fractions into a single rational expression. You can observe that, the rational expression we started with, and the single rational expression we got with a, b, c and d, have the same denominators. This will allow us to equate the numerator separately. And then, we can start simplifying our right side, by multiplying the quantities ax plus b, and x squared plus 3. After that, we can group together the terms with x cubed, the terms with x squared, the terms with x, and the constant terms. We can now get a system of linear equations from here. We will get our first equation, by equating the coefficients of x cubed from both sides. Next, we will get our second equation by equating the coefficients of x squared. And then, we will equate the coefficients of x to get our third equation, and so as the constant terms to get our fourth equation. Based on the equations we got from the system of linear equations, we already have the values for a and b. We will substitute these values into the third and fourth equations. So, for letter c, we have c equals 1. And for letter d, we have d equals negative 5. We now have the values for a, b, c and d. Please make sure that you don't switch the values of a, b, c and d, or else, your answer will be inaccurate. 
Our final answer in decomposing the rational expression into partial fractions is, the quantity, 2x minus 1, over the quantity, x squared plus 3, plus the quantity x minus 5, over the square of quantity x squared plus 3. I hope this video helped you learn about the case for a partial fraction decomposition, repeating quadratic factors. You can also watch the other cases of partial fraction decomposition from my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video. Have a nice day. Hello.